Welcome to the uh, very last part of uh, my trip through uh, New Zealand. I, of course, am currently in Sydney. This video is uh, my May vlog before I head up north to the Kimberleys. Lots of news about what happened in the last month, my vehicle choice, and my trip to the USA. I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and then traveling to the remotest parts of the world. Just before this trip, on my way up, went to Brisbane and was reacquainted with an old friend. Six years ago, I sold my aircraft and it ended up here, uh, just outside Brisbane. And I'm going to see it again for the first time since then. The aircraft is a Brazilian built motor glider called a Zimungo, powered by a 100 horsepower air and liquid cooled Rotax engine. It is a variable pitched propeller with setting for climb, cruise, and feather. The new owner, Peter, being an instructor means that I can sit in my old seat, the left-hand seat. <clears throat> this never gets old. <laughs> wow, I didn't think I would be here. It's six years since you've had this aeroplane. Six years. You've had it longer than me in that now. How many hours have you done on it? Sorry, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I did about 200, yeah, about, I did about 50 hours a year. And uh, I am going to be very rusty, so be be ready to take over. And what on earth are all those things? No sooner had I taken it off, Peter suggested, let's shut it down. The beeping sound you can hear is an electronic vario. It tells me with sound if the aircraft is in lift or in sync. This is not a good gliding bag. The gliding days where you have these beautiful flat bottom cumulus clouds and uh, you have this energy popping underneath. So today's you know, early in the morning, quite close to the coast. Uh, it's a bit of a long shot to find good gliding weather in these conditions. The great part about this kind of motor glider is when conditions get bad for gliding, fire up the motor and start cruising. And it's a very effective cruising aircraft easily reaching 150 knots on a long run. Fuel consumption is anywhere between 11 and 15 litres per hour. I've asked Peter to do the landing so I can film, and he does a beautiful dead stick touchdown. Whoa, what a great, great morning. Flight, eh? Yeah, bloody marvellous. So I have a plan, long-term plan, because I've been flying aeroplanes for since I was 25 years old. And I am going to make flying, but not just flying, flying and exploration as part of the new channel. So that's all my long-term goal. So once I've created my, the, the next, my next build, which will happen September, October, November, around that particular time, and at the similar time I'm going to be announcing a big project with an aircraft for the channel and I'm going to build it from a kit and I'm going to take you along every step of the way. About 10 minutes ago I noticed that I've been a bit too busy doing answering comments on the channel and I noticed that we'd hit 140,000 and then there was this knock on the door and I, it was this here. This past month, I enjoyed uh, the threshold, uh, crossing the threshold, 150,000 subscribers and 30 million views. And here it is here. I'm quite proud of that. Right, this year. I've just got back from New Zealand. I'm busy editing now and uh, different from my normal trip. Very different from my normal trip. Two really interesting vehicles and you'll get to see them now, but while I was in New Zealand, I had an idea about my USA trip. For those of you in the United States, I will be doing a roadshow. Roadshow meaning we'll be doing meet and greets, and I'm hoping to do about five or six. Uh, I'm talking about Seattle, we're talking about Portland, Oregon, 
We're talking about Salt Lake City, Utah. And I haven't actually looked at the map, but two or three in between. But that kind of area. And I will, I will um, give the notifications of, of dates and times. But I, I'm trying to do something a little bit more than just a meet and greet. I'd like to do a, like a little presentation. So, because what happens with the meet and greet, you know, people kind of jostle for my attention. And, and, I, and, I, and what happens is somebody, somebody will actually capture my attention and then, and then grab it for, for 10 minutes, which you can understand. I, I, I understand that. But the thing is that if I'm only there for an hour, that means that's how many people, not very many people, actually get to talk to me. So, and, and other people are exact opposite. They'll say, oh, I don't want to take any of your time. I'm, I can see you're busy and they shake my hand and walk away. That's also not good enough. You know, so what I thought about doing was some kind of presentation where I can actually do a 10 minute presentation and, and a funny story and, and that kind of thing and just a little bit of entertainment, light entertainment and then take questions. Now for some news that is not altogether good. I have cancelled the Pan Americas expedition. The main reason, well, the trigger, the, the thing that triggered this was that the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Sprinter van that had been promised to me and was going to allow me to do not just that, but a whole lot of other things has been basically withdrawn. The owners have changed their minds. Um, nothing I did, but all I can say, the, the reasons are not worth sharing here, apart from the fact, fact that life happens. It did to them and they could no longer loan me the vehicle. I sometimes make the mistake of biting off a little bit too much, a little bit too ambitious, you could say. And I think maybe Pan Americas is one of those things. You see, the thing is that the way my channel is financed is via my Patreons. Those are the special guys that buy me a cup of coffee. So I invite you now to buy me a cup of coffee every month, just once a month. That's all it is. Enough people buy me the coffee. I can go to places like New Zealand and I'm off to the Kimberleys in, in two weeks time and, 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 and the United States, of course. So somebody's got to pay for that. And this is my living. I do this for a living. This is not my hobby. This is my work. This is my business. So I invite you to be more involved. There are other stuff, there are other advantages also, a lot more, I mean, for example, if you want to ask me a question and you are a Patreon, I will respond to you. I generally don't respond to others, general questions, because I can just get too many of them, it's just impossible. But I will with Patreons. At the end of the day, it comes down to money. I mean, a Pan Americas is just not the, the, the finance to do it. I mean, in a lot of other channels, they finance their programs differently by doing product placements and paid advertorial and all kind of thing. I don't do that and I've never done it before and I won't do it. So I've chosen this way and sometimes it's more difficult and in other ways it's easier. But I asked myself, why did you want to do the Pan Americas Highway in the first place? It was Alaska, it was Canada, it was Chile, it was the Patagonia, and then right down the southern part of Argentina. The, the, this, those were the places I wanted to go to. I had no particular des desire to drive on the road of death in Colombia. I, 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 well, it's because I don't really want to die. I don't know, I think it's a valid excuse. Anyway, so now you have an idea of what's what has happened and what is happening so Pan, but Pan Americas doesn't really change anything to I'm still going to be doing lots and lots and lots of content it just I'm just taking smaller more manageable bites first one coming up next month in May I'll be filming in May during the month of May hopefully I'll have enough time to put together all of the New Zealand's the New Zealand story right now let's talk about my vehicle choice I have not chosen a vehicle yet but I've narrowed it down to three three vehicles and I'm gonna give you a clue two of them are Toyotas and one of them is not I even considered a Hilux because the the camera system actually would would work on Hilux and I thought well what is that I mean in terms of all the pickups it's it's one of the better ones um, but would it work for me yeah did I like it um, it's a bit yeah it's nice it, it's nice at the same time as being quite ordinary you, you know, you sit in a Hilux and you, you know, it's well built, it's a well built vehicle, there's no question about the, the, the build quality of a Hilux. Um, and the, the appointments are modern and everything like that, but it has very little soul, very little soul. And, the, and so many of these vehicles, these modern vehicles like this, 
are soulless. And the 70 series Land Cruiser is so not soulless. <laughs> roast chicken, roast potatoes, cauliflower cheese. Seafood platter. But what I have to say though is that I'm getting so, I love this part of the process. I, it's the, it's, I live for it and I'm, I'm so excited about the new vehicle, even though right this very second I'm not actually quite sure what it's going to be, but I, I will be selling the troop carrier. Now my biggest fear up to this point has been seller's remorse, that I sell the troop carrier. It is such a wonderful vehicle. And I sell it and I go, oh no, I shouldn't have done it. You know what I, so, but I have committed to it. So the troop carrier, my green troop carrier, will go up for sale on the 1st of June, 2019. You, if, you, if you're interested in the vehicle, contact me via my website, forexoverland.com, the contact page, right in there, troopy sale, in the subject line. I will respond to every single one I get, question I get. And, but please no tire kickers, I'm not giving it away. I'm selling it for the market price, what it's worth, because it will finance the new build and other projects as well. So it's, 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 it's available in Australia. I can even ship it anywhere in the world for you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. See you in New Zealand.